All right, hello everyone, and welcome to game number four, round number four of our new player tournament. This time around, we've got Atlas, Fox, Blazing, Revolting, Peasant, and I'm gonna go with Tinny. That's just because I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Uh, I'm gonna go for Tinnilux. 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 Tinny is a good Tinny. Plan, Tinny. Yes. We're going with Tinny. All right. <laughs> that means. <laughs> Oh man, looking at this map, we once again got some pretty expensive iron and carbon and electronics, but that's about it. Prices aren't actually that weird this game. Whoa, severe lack of water though. Yeah, not a lot of water going on wow. on this map. It's spread out, the highs don't have much adjacency. That's going to be really awkward. Mm -hmm. Now, that said, we did have Atlas drop in that northeast corner, he's actually a robot that is closest to the high water with adjacency on the map. Although, not arguably not the best water on the map. No, I'd say Tinny's probably going to snap up a decent water patch. <sighs> Even so, I mean, there's pirates around, so it's risky proposition, I think. But yeah, we'll see. Sure. I mean, that's that's the thing, right? You've got pirates, but maybe the scientist will be okay because if water goes out of control, then you have control of the life support markets. It'll be an interesting, an interesting game to say the least. Mm-hmm. I doubt, but quite like to go scavenger just below that water patch. You got you could have two carbon, well, two low adjacent carbons. Oh, somebody stole his water. Poor old Tinny. Yep, that's going to be painful, and that is always the risk of running that scientist. Of course, he did get to HQ2. He's got two of those water claimed. Well, he, I think he got there before he did hit level 2 and could have claimed it, I think, if he'd have been a little, little bit quicker. Yeah, just had to be a little quicker on that, I think, because Fox wasn't making, hadn't committed to that immediately. So if Tinny had just been a little more on the ball, then it would have been okay. Fox saw his opportunity, and uh, thanks very much. I shall have that. Yeah, I am uh, nervous yeah. about that for Fox, though. Because there are nukes this game. Oh, yeah. And Definitely got a goon squad on it. Yeah, he's he's going to need to goon that in order to, to make sure he's going to be okay. And, Timmy, I think you still have the option of slant drilling. Obviously, for any of our players this game, slant drilling is likely to be strong because of the limited water resources in particular. Oh, and well, there you go. Although it was actually the scientist's aluminum that gets targeted there. That's fair enough. That's about the, yeah, well, that is the only thing really that scientist is vulnerable on. Yeah. It is worth pointing out that one of our players, Revolting Peasant, who for some reason his name isn't showing up for me in the UI, doesn't oh. have any aluminum yet. He's, well, he's gone at three. I three glass though at that price. That's that's almost certainly a mistake. Just straight up, you could have just taken a high aluminum, been in a pretty darn strong position. Let's yeah, see. I Atlas. don't like that at all. I'd actually be a bit surprised if Atlas doesn't take a second aluminum here. And usually, I don't like a second aluminum, and I'm not even sure I like it this game, but. It fits in with the plan of nuking out Tenny's aluminum, right? Yeah. But then your fox has got a high aluminum with a adjacent low, which he's taken, so he took the second. That's true. Um, yeah, there's no claims as well, which... If there's no claims, I'm always reluctant to take a second aluminium, unless it's right adjacent to my base. Yeah, I would be reluctant about it too. It's just, it fits with the plan, right? Because otherwise, what was the point of throwing out the nuke at all? Well, it slows down that scientist, something rotten. I mean, that scientist knows Tinny's going to be struggling. I mean, it slows with... him down, but is that enough? Because now you're basically, you've taken money out of the scientist's hands and dumped it into the expansive player. Scientific HQ has been yes. <laughs> that is a very fair point. And it's it's worthwhile, I guess, to slow one player down, but you always have to be careful about what the end ramifications are going to be of a move like nuking. And I don't know if it's going to be good enough for Atlas here, given all the he, money he's giving to Fox. He has to follow it up and nuke Foxes. 
even if he nukes foxes, so foxes will still get three aluminium in per second. Yeah, still more. Yeah, still more than his. But maybe he just thinks the scientist is the bigger threat, which... Maybe he does. On this map, it's got very limited water. Scientists... Well, if the scientist had got all that water patch, he'd have been in such a dominant position. Especially when you look at, I mean, oxygen being such a good launch, food isn't too bad either. Late game, you see, scientist is just going to be laughing. That power price. This has to be superconductor. Nope, slant drilling. Mm, All right. Yeah. I mean, slant drilling is strong, but arguably, I think it's I, I think it's a mistake to go for now, because. It's all it does, Somewhat all it is, is blocking other people right now, right? Yeah. And you don't I mean, need to do that, because nobody else has a patent lab. The thing is, it's not going to stop his medium water from getting nuked. Yeah, that's the other thing, is... It doesn't do a whole lot in the moment, and in the moment, he has this immediate concern of power. Like, debt's already 120, going up by 250 a second. Worst bond rating, sea level bond rating, and only 8,000 debt. A superconductor cleans that up pretty easily. Especially as he's got the geothermal adjacent to his base. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Superconductor's a no-brainer in that situation, I would say. Well, and now debt's stacking up very rapidly, 800 a second, because of course the freeze. Hmm. He has got the other geothermal though, so... No, that's not his. That's, that's... not his, it's scientists. No. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> He is in trouble then, isn't he? Yeah, Fox, gonna have to be watching that debt. Always something you gotta be paying attention to. I, yeah. I guess slant drilling will finish up soon, and after that, it is Superconductor coming out. Already has Energy Vault off of an auction. Which is great if you're actually producing power. Yeah, I mean, Energy Vault certainly has its uses, although right now... It's not more of a super, solar panel. Super great. It's still fine. It's more use, I think, with solar panels because it'll cover you overnight when yeah. your panels aren't producing. That is the typical use of Energy Vault, I would say. You see, Fox now has gone into a second geothermal, which... If he just got... So he's getting Superconductor, though, so... Not too bad, but... I mean, that'll be on plenty of power, right? That'll be six a second at that point. More than Possibly, enough. Yeah. But yeah, they'll take him right through to the end game. As long as he hasn't let debt too, get too out of control, which I don't think he has in particular because our other players haven't committed enough to knock that power price down yet either. They're all producing some, but not a huge amount. Atlas was really the only one making any notable amount of power. And even then, he's only at about a surplus of two, so that price has stayed pretty steady for Fox to have time to kind of adjust. Yeah, 1, I mean, that, debt, though, that hurts. Atlas has gone and mutinied a single electronics factory from revolting peasant which i can't i can't agree with that at all he's only no we're gonna call that bad we're gonna call that terrible yeah yeah and pretty pretty soundly awful for a variety of reasons first of all there was a geothermal to mute me away of foxes i do believe unless he cancelled it which he did <clears throat> Could have mutinied it before the cancel, and then, you know, things could get interesting. There were geothermals to potentially target with spies to check the geothermals first. Potentially. Would have been a much better play, yeah. Yeah, could have been a lot more, could have been a lot more interesting. And on top of that, the electronics factory is just not even making money. So you got to ship the resources to send out there to turn them into a less valuable resource and then get them back and prevent your opponent from losing money in the process. It's just not really what you're looking for. That's not at all. I mean, the price of Hakarwin is so high, it's... And silicon. I... Yeah, Revolting Peasant is, well... He's fading fast, I'm afraid. Yeah, I, he's basically out of it. It'll be an interesting race to see who gets his shares in order to boost their own stock price as he continually falls out of this game. But I don't see much for Revolting Peasant to do, which is pretty standard when you go for early electronics. He does. He absolutely does not have the carbon production for this, operating on just two lows. No, nowhere near. Nowhere near. I mean, he was up against it to start with, mm -hmm. but compounding his mistake by going into those electronics factories was... And he's shipping two silicons all the way across the map, which, all right, they're going to make him money, but money he's losing on fuel will be crazy. Yeah, 2.2. 
fuel, which is costing him four hundred dollars. Cost me four hundred dollars to ship in that silicon, and he's making well, not much now. Yeah, not not a lot. Oh, Tinny does protect the patent lab, so that's a really big deal in a lot of ways because that gives Tinny teleportation for sure. He needs it, I think. Mm -hmm. And took it away Hello. from Fox. Fox was paying enough attention that he actually spotted. They were both going for teleportation. Tenny was going to win the race. Fox had a black market cooldown coming up, could have used it, but the goon squad drops and Tenny guarantees it. So Fox immediately transitions into carbon scrubbing. Given the price of carbon, that's a good move. Yeah, strong moves out of Fox, really, this game. Really paying attention to what's happening for the most part. Power got a little iffy early on and in some ways still kind of is but with cook the books available i'm pretty sure fox has been cooking the books this game i'm going to check on that just to make sure well a 200k worth of debt yeah be three bond cooked the books. yeah that's that's for sure and that, he's got his water he's got medium water he's got that goon squatted as well which good move yeah and i think that's really kept fox in it and let let him get away with not having so much power production down in particular just that one geotherm carrying on through and making sure that the interest ticks don't let things get too out of control still going to need to make sure to stay in pr might even want to push to that a rating just to be certain because the next interest tick would be a push down basically to c pretty close to it yeah he definitely wants to get another one as you say keep that bond rating up because he has scary amount of debt but atlas is He's come through quite nicely. He's not doing anything with his patent lab, but he's looking. He's got a nice share price there. Boosted probably because he owns shares in Tinny. Yeah, the shares in Tinny are really boosting that price. I mean, power has been a really, really great tool for Atlas this game, pretty consistently. It has, but he's breaking even on his. See, he's only got a triangle of three. He's just got his reactors there, which are breaking even because of the water price. I mean, steel, well, I'd be transitioning out of steel, to be honest. Yeah, the, the reactors person, and the steel both actually losing money right now. Once the he only counts person in the power cost. Yeah, he's only benefiting Tinny. I mean, Tinny, basically, he's probably overjoyed at that steel price because he can just snap it up cheap. Yeah, it definitely yeah. makes his life nice and easy. Well, that's a cheap off-world for him if he manages to push that far. He... Guessing he got carbon scrubbing? No. Yeah, let's see what Ooh. happened with carbon. Uh, yeah, Fox was after it Fox and actually was it. the one who took it. Those chemical refineries are going to be not as profitable as they could be for him. Yeah, a bit of an so unfortunate much. situation, especially because I would say this is just plain a mistake where these are positioned. I mean, he had carbon right there and could have taken those tiles, but didn't. And so even without carbon scrubbing, he could have been in an okay spot, have some carbon, but mm. not going to end up happening. Well, even if you had to run one single lab off the carbon, then yeah. that's only, it's only Still point five he's fun. losing. Yeah. Rather than now, he's losing 225 just off carbon. Yeah, not, not what he wants to be looking at. Uh, revolting peasants. Still, I mean, he's still factories. in the game somehow. Barely, I mean, absolutely barely. He's definitely uh, present, right? But not much <laughs> more than that. And frankly, I'd be looking at that eight-dollar stock price, especially now that this interest tick just came through. That's going to be dropping so rapidly. I would want to be buying that. Just yes, all of it, every last bit. Just take it. I mean, you could uh, you could shift by him. I think everybody could shift by him, probably. Well, it's getting close. You need a hundred right now, but of course that's dropping by like two thousand a second at the moment. So everybody okay. needs to be paying attention to this and be ready. I mean, Fox is Fox could probably st well Fox should snap him up because he owns three of his shares. That's part of why Revolting Peasant is so valuable right now. I mean, mm -hmm. just Atlas has it. If Atlas is paying attention, Atlas really should sell everything down and just take Revolting Peasant right now. That no is doubt the about move. It. That's the move to make because three of Fox's shares is wow. Fox could do it too now. Both of these, like everybody, could do it. Every single second this goes by without Revolting Peasant getting taken down is just a straight up mistake by all these players. Oh God, yeah. Oh, he's in nearly 400k's worth of debt, and he's 
selling down. I bet he's going to buy another stock of. He's going to buy another stock of Fox, isn't he? He's working. I mean, he's already got three. Yeah, he's getting close to the fourth. Could sell down that carbon and electronics and probably do it. But Atlas instead builds the off-world market, and I, I mean, that's okay. But you can get three of Fox's stock just by buying peasants. Like no matter what else you're getting, that's good. Wow. I mean, just rolling it back, buying, putting an off-world market down when you haven't defended some of your stock. When people have got 100k worth of cash and resources, your main competitor could not snap you up, but certainly put a big spanner in the works. Uh, Fox That's auto paying the debt. That's not good. Oh, dear. Done with that now, it looks like. Well, to be honest, once you go past a certain point, just let your debt go. Buy those cook the books and just say, I've had it with debt. Yeah. I'm so frustrated right now. Still nobody bought peasant. Uh, and peasants prices. pushed back up to like a $6 share price. They were down at what, like four? Yeah. <laughs> Missed an opportunity there. Oh, that was a Nukon Atlas's water. That's going to be kicking that water price up a bit. Oh, Atlas has got an off-world oh, off market, but no, no colony adjacencies. But this oxygen launch, please buy peasant with this, please. All right, you've got it. Just, just buy it. <laughs> Will he though? Or at least okay, there's an interest yourself. tick. Let's watch this. Thirty a second drop. Wow. No, where are you buying Fox? <laughs> oh, cry. You're gonna die. <laughs> Fox has got 100% on it. Fox could just peasant. go kill you! Oh no. Oh dear. He can be. He's. Oh, he's watch. gone. I he's can't gone. Watch. He's gone. This I'm is afraid. so sad. Fox. <laughs> and that is why you do not go to HQ level 5 with an off world market and stock in everybody else without securing yourself against the majority buy. You see, oh. if you want to confound your frustration, look at peasant stock. I saw. I saw. I'm, I'm done. I can't watch anymore. Fox, I mean, that's, at least please tinnies. just shift Tin by. Come on, Tinnies. They both can just shift by. Just <laughs> do it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Finally. I have no idea what the wow. actual state of the game is, but, like, Oh, so much of it hinged on being able to buy Revolting Peasant. Like, that has been the only play to make for literally the past, like, five minutes or so. But Tinny's stock price has just gone stellar. Just and that's why! Massively. Who cares how much money you're making? Look at that stock price difference! And it's two claims! Like, Yep. It's worth it for the claims alone. The claims alone are fantastic, exactly! And now, ugh. All right. <laughs> Fox and has a hologrammed off-world. Tenny has an off-world. Has he got it off? Oh, he's got to protect it. That's okay. Fox is... Yeah, he's got a second off-world as well now, Fox. $4,500 share price. All right. Hmm. This is going to be... Close. I mean, Tenny needs to work on Fox's water. If he can get some nukes in there. I mean, somebody has broken through. I think a nuke landed earlier. Oh, wow. Trigger an underground nuke. Where was that? Goon Squad's intercepted your attempt to trigger an underground nuke on Tinny. Ooh, Fox, that is risky. Blowing the, he's blowing the Goon Squad off, but that's his... If Tinny needs to nuke his water, he needs to do that now, and he needs to follow it up with a second nuke. Just kill that water. Yeah, just get rid of that water. Just, I mean, he's got two nukes stored up right now. Spies are only 4.5. Just get rid of the water. I mean, Fox has got 400 water in stock, so it's... It's not... Now uh, he's got nothing. Well, yeah, Nothing in stock because water's worthless. But he still is going to need water for this game. Yeah. I mean... The longer it goes... And he's got a bit of an uphill battle. I mean, $70 stock prices. 
That's a lot. Fox that's actually amazing. has a lot of it stored away in launches right now. The black is he? Yeah, that's where all of his water is right now. So he can, like, cancel out and get that back, potentially. But Oh, good lord. But it's just kind of... Like, every single moment that you're sitting on these nukes and not doing anything with them is a little frustrating. Where did that nuke go? I saw the nuke land. Wait, was that... seriously? These guys are tossing nukes back and forth to get rid of goon squads. Mm, I think there's, there's better. Better, better. Well, we've already gone with the better aspects of it, haven't we? I can't believe Fox is launching water. That's... A bit ridiculous, considering the oxygen price is just so high. I know, it's a mistake. Yeah. I mean, it's almost, water's half the price. Launch oxygen. I know you can sell oxygen, but... Well, and water is better than it looks, because he has so much of it stored away, right? But it's still not good enough to overwhelm the, the benefit of launching right. oxygen. No, like, nowhere near. And... It just kind of can't be because oxygen is only 250 compared to 850, and water maxes out at 460. So you just it, water even at a dollar isn't worth launching right now. No, no, not with oxygen and water that uh, oxygen or food even that high. That said, I think Patent Lab is pretty much the name of this game. I mean, this inter this Pleasure Dome is making $336 a second, which is just insane. You've got carbon scrubbing, slant drilling, thinking machines, water engine, financial instruments. Like, you've got everything. All yeah. the patents. And all the patents is really hard to overcome. That said, let's take a look and see that Fox Blazing... He needs 762, 763, that'll keep going up a bit by bit. Tinny currently needs 560. So Fox Oops. is like 300 away, and Tinny is 250 away. So, mm -hmm. this is kind of close right now. I kind of think Fox may... I mean, mutinies are still cheap. Yeah, mutinies are still know. down at 20. It's kind of a big deal, but they really help out Fox because he knows there's this undefended off-world. That's right. That's a big... I mean, as long as he keeps that one off-world running, then it doesn't matter too much what happens to the second one. Yeah, I mean, it does, but... On top of that, Tenny can't get aggressive with mutinies. Just completely unable to because of the thinking machines. Always has to play, like, defensively with them. That's it. I mean, Fox, there he is. Fox has got it sorted now. Yeah, Fox is going to end up taking it. Just making too much money is what it comes mm. down to. Yeah, I mean, I think... I don't know. Tinny, if he'd have got that but that high water, uh, medium water, he could have done a lot better. Because he'd have got adjacency then, at least, on some of his tiles. Because at the moment, he's got no adjacency, really, on his reactors or his food. And it's just awkward. It's hurting. Quite mm. bad, yeah. Definitely, definitely quite painful. And yeah, they had they had the opportunity. It was just being a little bit slow there. And I think the nuke bouncing instead of actually just landing the nuke. Yeah. That was it, that was painful. That's always yeah, it was always hard, isn't it, when it bounces like that? But Fox, I think it was well, I can't agree with him launching water. Yeah, the water launch is bad. I would say. Yeah, less than optimal. But overall, still generally a very well played game. Oh, definitely. Definitely. There's room for improvement there. I mean, he didn't use his optimization lab as much as he could have. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's always going to be room for improvement, right? But still, I liked the founding location generally. Obviously, important to identify that medium water as so valuable did goon squad it at least at some point yeah and good use of cook the books to stay alive that game because that could have been a really easy way to fall out of it mm -hmm. yeah but with the adjacent geotherm and an early patent lab i mean superconductor would have really taken care superconductor of that superconductor did help for sure i mean they got to it eventually but i do agree with you that it should have been faster there was no need yeah. to go for that slant drilling first no, I mean, I, did slant drilling actually benefit him this game? I mean, he got extra water out of it. Uh, yeah, I suppose he did, didn't he? 
maybe some extra iron at certain points. Not that that's really that big a deal, but, you know. It could, could have done without it, though, couldn't I? Yeah, I don't think slant drilling was even necessary. Like, there was definitely also extra aluminum, but once again, it's, it's aluminum, so... I suppose also you could say that he also denied it to the scientist, which... Yeah, but he managed to pick up, like, four patents before the scientist got one. So uh, he had time, basically. And I, I think slant drilling early was good, just not that early. Mm. You know? Still yeah. Well. Yeah, well played. Well done. Revolting Peasant was an interesting little nuisance, that game. And that was the big mistake that everybody made that game. Absolutely, right? Yeah. Like, you have an opponent who has three or four stock in your opponents, and you can just shift by them. That is your job. That is what you should do. Like, oh, I doubt for $100,000, paying $100,000 for two claims and four stock in a, an opponent, and acquiring, like, 14 stock total in the process, that is the right play. It, it and... really doesn't matter what else is happening that game. Yeah, I mean, Tinny put 50% extra on his stock as well. As soon as he bought that, his stock value shot up. Exactly, because of all that stock that you now hold. It's just... It's win-win-win situation. Absolutely. For what? For pennies, really. Yeah, for nothing. And it doesn't even really matter if you don't make money off of that subsidiary the rest of the game. They've already paid for themselves on buying them, so... Oh, three or four times over, I'd say. Yeah, it's just... Well worth it. Well worth it, for sure. Anyway, that is another win over to Fox, which means they're now sitting on four wins. Kind of a lot. Yeah. I'd have probably predicted that. I haven't seen Fox play ever before, so, you know, I just... I've uh, played against him a few times, and uh, yeah, he's a good player. In any case, it does look like Funny Man also took a round, so sitting on three right now. And that means that Rainbow Ideology and Funny Man are now tied at three. So in order for somebody besides Fox to win, Funny Man and, and Rainbow are still technically in it, but Fox needs to lose the next round. So Rainbow needs to take Fox out, basically. Mm -hmm. If they want a chance of winning this one. And Rainbow is up against Fox. Yep. It is Funny Man. Doable. Mm, it certainly is. And we'll be watching Funny Man, so we'll see if he has a shot there. I'm not sure exactly how tiebreakers are going to pan out, obviously. Uh, but currently, Fox does have the worst tiebreaker score. So, something mm. to consider. So, it's all on the table at the moment, then. Yep. We'll just have to see what happens.